Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder with Cars.com. When Ford came out with a Boss 302 version of its Mustang designed for track use, I thought, do they really need another version? And uh, then I drove it and decided that it was my favorite version of the car. So, no surprise that Chevrolet would follow with a similar track version of the Camaro. It's called the 1LE package. It can be added to the Camaro SS. The 1LE is very easy to spot mainly because it has a matte black hood, which looks good even on this yellow one, I must say, and some aerodynamic treatments in front here. This splitter does a lot on the track, but it also is low enough that you're kind of risking it if you drive it on regular roads. Depends on what your roads are like. If you come upon a parking block, there's a good chance you're going to damage that. Now around back, you've got the exclusive matte black spoiler on the trunk lid and this diffuser down here. And you've also got the other risky bit, and that is the exhaust system hangs pretty low. So one more thing that makes this car not quite as good on the regular roads as it would be on the track. Now that's mostly cosmetic stuff. There are obviously performance changes which make this thing a 1LE and that includes 20 inch wheels with excellent Goodyear Eagle F1 supercar tires. Extremely wide in this case and extremely grippy. And then there are suspension changes too, influenced by the ZL1, which is the top level Camaro. For example, there's different shock absorbers in the back, thicker stabilizer bars, rear and front. The brakes are essentially the same as they are on the regular SS. There are four piston front and rear calipers. Another feature on the 1LE package is this strut tower brace, which helps stiffen the body, improves handling. Uh, one thing that hasn't changed is the engine. It's the 6.2 liter V8 makes 426 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. Once again, it's an SS in that regard. Where the 1LE is different from the regular SS is in the transmission. This is a close ratio version of the six-speed Tremec transmission. Nice short throw shifter. Even the knob here is from the ZL1. It's this uh, faux suede material. Steering wheel, also from the ZL1 with the same covering. Uh, the transmission is good in and of itself, but I also like how quickly the throttle responds. You go to blip the throttle, it does it instantly, there's no lag. Overall, the ride quality is very good for a car that's uh, track-tuned. Uh, definitely livable day-to-day, -day, depending on the quality of your roads. The handling is improved over the SS, uh, and it's partly the big wheels. Really nice, sharp turn-in. I like it. Uh, one downside to the car, though, is the brakes. They do the job, they stop the car, but it's a very numb pedal feel. I think Chevy could definitely do better. Now, overall, 1LE is not a bad package, but I don't like this car as much as the Boss 302. Partly because I like the Mustang better than the Camaro. Ever since this new generation came out, I thought it had a weight problem. You could lose a few hundred pounds, you feel it in the wheel, not just the acceleration. So far, only the ZL1 with 580 horsepower really felt right to me. It had enough power to get it going, to throw the car into corners in such a way that you feel how good the chassis actually is. This one, not bad with some suspension improvements, etc. And it sounds terrific, like the transmission. But overall, it's no Boss 302 to me.